Now we're going to do the model for childhood, so we can understand different social models, and now we can better cooperate with each other in society. Here's the model for childhood. Just a quick model. There we have the baby in the centre as the ego. There's mum and dad, the mother and father. There's the shining self. There's the home in the space. There's the routine over time. There's the diet. There's the feelings, the temperament of the child. There's whether it's a boy or a girl. And there's its exercise. This is the basic structure that we're educated with at home, which is the first corporate entity that we come into in the family. The next corporate entity we joined is the education system. Here we have the education. There, in the centre, we have the headmaster. The headmaster controls the babies. This is the important point that we, you're still preserved in a childhood state <coughs> where the headmaster is under control of your ego and the contact with the governors is, is nil. There's no contact with the governors and the religious education is imposed on the headmaster and then we taught various subjects. Geography for the space which is basically smell mapping and then we have history which is, includes language as language is our history. Here we have chemistry and maths, biology, sex education, botany and then all the other things of gardening but basically planning and things. Here we have sport. So we see the basic, the, the, the basic model <coughs> of the corporate education where the headmaster takes control of the ego. <coughs> and this is the basic structure to take away our will, our free will, and keep us in a state of childhood for the corporate world. We then enter the corporate world, and you see the similarity in the structure again. You have the managing director, the CEO, and then you have the board of directors, you know, again, which you never see, apart from occasional visits. But there's no con contact here, no control. There you have business ethics. Here, instead of your mother, you've got public relations, you know, smarting yourself up before you appear in public. Here you have the management and the production, the heavy production equipment. Here we have the personnel, now human resources. Here we have the planning department, research and development, and the accounts, and also the warehousing and distribution here of things. And here we have the marketing and the advertising. So we are, here we have the corporate world, but again, where we fitted in, in a state of childhood, under the control of the managing director, and under the control of having to work in different departments here. Okay, that's the corporate model.